Voting while black is a crazy conundrum. Now, conundrum is not normally in my vocabulary. Then again, neither is voting. Now, I don't speak for all of us, but I feel like when you're black, you have three main voices in your head. Hear me out. One says, why would I vote when change for people who look like me has never been on a politician's ballot? Two, because if you don't vote for the solution, you are a part of the problem. Three, it doesn't matter who you vote for. Nothing is going to change. And some days, they all sound right. One voice says, when you vote, you can pick and place politician like stonemason, rebuild the community, turn ghettos into mansions, be a voice for the voiceless. That is what they need you for, or that is what they want you to think. They're only using you to make their bread, you dodo. That is what they need you for, or don't you dare go near a ballot. You try to use your voice to help Kaepernick the Floyd out of you. That is what they need you for. And some days, they all sound right. Now, maybe I'm just one apathetic excuse after another. Maybe I just don't want any more false hope. Or maybe I'm just too ignorant of how the government actually works. But it's not like I like being ignorant. I've been trying to add more words to my vocabulary like, uh fair justice system, level playing field, progress, but America just keeps changing the definition. In fact, the only two terms that I know by heart are 2008 and 2012. Now, one voice says, you are everything that is wrong with America. You'll get in line for a Popeye sandwich, but when it comes to voting, you chicken out too. I don't care. I'll vote when my vote stops the stop and frisk. When y'all get a politician that finally looks like me, and when y'all ask me for my voice, but stop trying to control how loud I can talk. Three, why are you arguing with yourself? They never wanted your voice. They only wanted your vote. And some days, they all sound right. Now, isn't that a conundrum? One, your ancestors marched all the way from Selma to Montgomery with bruised souls and high spirits. Two, Selma or not, I won't sell my soul to the highest bidder. One, why would you throw away your right to vote? You're proving every time that you don't deserve it. Two, how do you vote for the lesser of two evils if the lesser is still evil? One, are you even American? Two, no, apparently I'm African American. One, we made so much progress. Don't stop us now. One, you know how many people gave up their life for your voice? One, your voice will never be heard if you don't vote. Two, They've been tuning us out for 400 years. They put their life on the line. How are you going to be for 400 years to have me to vote? Conundrum will probably never be in my vocabulary. Today, voting is. I voted for the first time ever today. I know. Shame on you. Better late than never. It doesn't even matter. But it does matter. And I'm finally finding out how much it actually does. They wouldn't have active voter suppression laws if it didn't. I just wish we knew more about the three branches and not just the ones our ancestors hung from. Y'all, I can't speak for everybody. But America, you need to show us that it matters. So that when we lift every voice, it feels less like a bench press and more like a 328.2 million part harmony. They gave me a souvenir today. That's cool. I just pray that the politician's promise doesn't peel off quicker than the sticker that he gave me. Y'all, today I voted for the very first time. And when I was at the booth, I said, here goes nothing. What a play on words, a conundrum. I don't know a whole lot of terms, but today I learned four. I voted. Count it.